Mike DeWine mobilized a thousand members of the Ohio National Guard to help area hospitals, especially here in Northeast Ohio, where cases are increasing at a faster rate. As News 5's Clay Lepard explains now, top hospital officials are making it known the situation is getting tougher for their staff to handle it all. Severance Hall, all decked out for the holidays. Yes, canceled. Why is it canceled? Uh, corona related issues. We canceled both shows today. Wow. Katie Hicks and her family find their family traditions yet again interrupted by the pandemic. Ah, it's a disappointment. We uh, do this every year. Last year was a bust and now it is again this year, so it's really sad. Add the Cleveland Orchestra to the list of institutions impacted in the last week by COVID-19, along with the Cleveland Browns and the Cavaliers. Well, Omicron is, uh, I think, rapidly expanding, particularly in Cuyahoga County. It's a new twist on what was the novel coronavirus. At the Cleveland Clinic, Dr. Robert Wiley, Chief of Medical Operations, says what we're seeing is just the beginning. He says his hospitals are dealing with the pandemic at a volume they've never seen. More than 840 patients hospitalized in their Northeast Ohio locations alone. And data from the Ohio Department of Health shows a tsunami already underway. And so I'm not sure that people are fully aware of how stressed the hospitals are. Just a couple of days ago, we reported how the Cleveland Clinic saw one out of every three people they tested testing positive for COVID-19, a high number at the time. Today, they say positive tests are even more common with those showing symptoms at a percentage closer to 50%. It just shows you how fast the Omicron virus spreads. So we know it spreads significantly faster than Delta, um, maybe someplace between two or three or even perhaps four times faster. What we don't know, he says, is whether or not the Omicron variant will leave the same trail of damage as the Delta variant. If it's much less severe, we could actually stabilize the number of hospitalizations. We could even see it drop. I think we'll know the answer in another week or two. But with the holidays and more gatherings on the horizon, the doctor says it's time to rethink forgetting about the coronavirus. The hospitals are under significant stress train right now, particularly in Northeast Ohio, we'd like them to help. And how can they help? If you've gotten the two doses of a vaccine, get your third dose, get boosted. Use common sense measures when you're indoors with something which is much more infectious than before. Our conversation with Dr. Wiley comes as the Cleveland Clinic and five other area hospital systems published a full page ad Sunday in the Cleveland Plain Dealer with a simple message. In Cleveland, Clay Lepard, News 5.